Okay, so hello and welcome. So after taking a look into Exa CS, which is Exa Data Cloud Services, it's time to take a look into Exa CC, which is Exa Data Cloud at Customer, right? So again, um, just to understand uh, what an Exa CC is, if you see the architecture of Exa CS is same as Exa CC. The only difference between XRCS and XRCC is that XRCS, XRData is sitting inside OCI and in XRCC, the XRData box is sitting inside the customer's data center. That is the only big difference if you actually ask me between XRCS and XRCC. And even if you look at the architecture as I clearly explained, it's a co-managed model where Oracle is managing your infrastructure layer up to the hypervisor. And from that uh, onwards, or from the DOM U onwards, uh, where you could provision your own uh, VM cluster, you can create your databases, your data schema, customer is responsible. So let's take a look at what is Exadata Cloud at customer. So Exadata Cloud at customer or XRCC offers the benefits of Exadata Cloud service in customer's data center. Very important as I explained, XRCS, Exadata box sitting in OCI, XRCC, Exadata box sitting in uh, customer's data center. Uh, as I clearly said, it is co-managed Oracle manages, monitors, and maintains the infra layer, which is this layer, and customer manages the DOM U and the database, as we saw here, and we explained in the previous video as well. And because it is Exadata, so automatically all the high performance capabilities of Exadata, such as smart scans, storage indexes, hybrid columnar compression, all these are the key features of Exadata, they will obviously be available to you as a customer. Now, that's a very, very key uh, point. Uh, another difference between why would somebody or why would an organization go with XRCC if XRCS was available? Very important question, I would say. Why would a company uh, go for XRCC is for data sovereignty. Now, you may ask, what is data sovereignty? So, data sovereignty is or it refers to the idea that a country or jurisdiction has the authority and right to govern and control the data that is generated within its own borders. So each country can have its own rules, right? So it means that the government has the power to regulate the collection, the storage, processing and distribution of data that originates within its territory. And a lot of um, specific governments or even I would say regulators are very, very strict these days. And they would say that the data shouldn't leave your data center, right? So that's where data sovereignty comes into picture. So it's so XSCC is ideal for, I would say, big banks, uh, um, say financial companies, right? Regulatory um, authorities where you, there are strict data residency, right? Uh, where is the data residing? Very important. Regulatory reasons or policy requirements that mandate the data remains on-prem, right? As I said, if you had put XSCS, you can't satisfy your regulators because regulators would say, hey, your data is sitting somewhere in the cloud. You don't know on which server, what kind of controls do you have on that server? It really becomes difficult for the com company to manage that. That's why big banks, companies, they have gone for extra data clouded customer just for the compliance and data sovereignty requirements. As we studied in XSCC, um, these two points are anyway similar. You can have rack real application clusters for high availability. For disaster recovery, you can have Oracle Data Card, right? Again, uh, I've uh, mentioned this point many times, uh, security uh, or advanced security options like uh, uh, encryption is already available out of the box. So you have features like database encryption, at rest, and in transit uh, through uh, XSCC. And uh, we already looked at uh, this uh, high-speed connectivity that I talked about because um, your data is traveling between the database server and the storage server because data resides uh, on the storage side. 
and this is actually going back to the database server side. So uh, this is high speed, um, low latency network, which we call the InfiniBand or Rocky uh, network and provides fast, secure connection to on-prem systems without data leaving the data center. So in this in this case, um, in XSCS, because it was sitting in OCI, it would still go to the VCN. But in this case, it is all sitting on-prem. Your data is there, let's say your apps are also on-prem, so it's much better um, connectivity. And yes, Exadata Cloud customer does offer elastic configuration, similar to XSCS again, where you have the ability to scale your OCPUs. Again, you are built based on the OCPUs. If you increase your OCPUs, you will be built more. If you decrease, you will be built less. And you can also increase or decrease your storage requirements. And just what we did in uh, in the cloud. So guys. Clear distinction between XSCS and XSCC. Don't get confused. XSCC, the Exadata box is sitting in within the data center of the customer. And why would a customer go for XSCC is just for control, for compliance, and for data sovereignty or data residency, data protection requirements. Thanks for watching.